Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, you talked about a cool down coming <laughs> later this week. You know that's news and music yes, to my later. ears. We have to warm up first uh, yeah, uh, before yeah, we get there. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> and we have to put a few rain showers in, but yeah, it is coming. It's in that seven day forecast, but uh, yeah, get through the first few days first. Uh, temperature 77, uh, pretty mild tonight, only dropping in the mid to low 70s here. Uh, we're still near 80 degrees in the Keys here, so a slow cool down tonight. Have those clouds out there and that breeze coming in from the east there, so uh, that'll keep us pretty mild tonight. Dark gray colors, these are very, very thin clouds, but they're pretty much everywhere. It will not be raining here. It looks like it's raining. Clouds are out there, but uh, these are just very thin clouds. They don't hold a lot of moisture. It's mostly dry here and comfortable uh, tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, uh, we will start to see things warming up just a bit. That'll be Tuesday. That breeze turns a bit to the southeast. Here's the day you have to work around these showers and storms. Uh, they'll be arriving Wednesday. They're only around for one day uh, with the gusty downpours possible here, primarily late morning throughout early afternoon. And then look at the big change Thursday. Friday, Saturday, big drop in our temperatures, big drop in humidity here. There's the humidity coming back for a day. Uh, otherwise, we're comfortable and in fact get very, very dry Thursday, Friday and Saturday. That's when we see our lows dropping into the upper 50s, maybe even near 60 degrees at 68 degree temperature. That's in the morning Thursday. We may set our low temperature for the day on Thursday right before midnight on Friday. That moisture is coming from this tropical depression. Sarah expected to dissipate here, but the moisture getting pulled north into the Gulf and that'll interact with the front, uh, which gives us those showers and storms by the middle of the week. Other than that, things are pretty quiet here in the tropics. Nothing else is expected to develop. Now we're back to no alerts in the Atlantic waters. The winds out of the east to 10 knots here, but we still have to keep that uh, advisory in place uh, there in the Florida Keys with that wind coming in from the east to southeast there 15 to 20 knots sees about two to four feet uh, high tide times tomorrow. We're still getting some minor flooding around the high tides, although the full moon we've already passed that uh, you could still get some minor flooding there in some lower areas and this goes all along the mainland here and in the keys high tide times there 10 in the morning about 10 in the afternoon. We'll try to hit 80 degrees tomorrow. We'll keep the clouds around might get a little more sunshine though uh, at times in the afternoon and evening. Want to take you through the earth uh, the uh, next weather seven day forecast here uh, because we'll start to see moisture coming back into the area Tuesday and Wednesday. That is the day where we get these showers and storms pushing into the area here. This is with this front, so we'll start at 12 o'clock there. Uh, they're still moving through the area, but the showers primarily from about 12 to 3 in the afternoon by 4 by 8, 9 o'clock at night, though, uh, they are pushing out of the area. Temperatures will be dropping Thursday, and then we'll say it's 58 degrees on Friday, uh, but some inland areas could be a little cooler there with mid to low 50s. Look at next weekend, though. We'll keep it right here on Saturday. Big area of high pressure in place, and that gives us cool, calm mornings, pleasant afternoon sunshine. We'll keep that right there Saturday and Sunday with lows in the upper 50s, highs in the mid to upper 70s both days. Okay, Dave, thank you.